Guys, I really genuinely wish I could sit here and give you some words of encouragement after that performance tonight. I really genuinely do, but I just can't. I just genuinely cannot give you any words of encouragement after what was another absolutely dire, pedestrian, passionless, fightless, gutless performance by Rangers. And until things substantially change within this team, nothing will change in Scotland in terms of who dominates the game. Who dominates the league, who dominates the Cups, who dominates football in Scotland. The fact is that the, we will, could, the more we continue to bottle it, the more we hand to them the league title, the more we hand them the league title, the more Champions League money they get, the further ahead of us they get and the bigger the gap gets and the more likely that this league will become a German-style league of a one-team league. I know Bayer Leverkusen did win this year, but we know Munich will probably win it next year because they'll just sign all Leverkusen's players. Guys, it's genuinely depressing tonight. That was an absolutely dire game. I mean, I sat there through 93 minutes of that game. Well, technically 100 minutes of that game, if you had on the stoppage time in the first half. And it was absolutely dire. It was awful. It was genuinely dreadful. The passing was slow. There was no fight in the players. They didn't even, they, they didn't offer anything in response to that poor performance on Sunday. Jack Butland, Pulled off two fantastic saves. I'm not going to... Jack Butlin is the one player who has excused any criticism for tonight. He could do nothing about the result. It's not down to him. He's not the guy out there that can create the chances or whatever. So I'm not going to criticise him. Yes, we got a clean sheet, but does it matter? When, when you cannot put the ball in the back of the net? Service to Kamar Ruth for the 55 minutes or the 50 minutes he was on was fucking terrible. Dessas comes on and looks lost useless, gives the ball away every time he gets it, has one chance and completely misses it. Seema had the chance in the first half that McCracken saved. There was the tab one that he saved, which was going wide anyway. But there wasn't a great deal of what I would call cut, cutting edge chances. There wasn't an open, you know, what I would call high danger chance that's got a real chance of going in. There was just nothing. Play was slow. Play was poor. I think we're missing Ridvan very, very badly. I think the, the, the left-hand side of the pitch tonight was, was awful. Nothing against Dujon Sterling. He worked hard tonight. He fought hard, but he's let right-footed. He's always coming in field. The whole right, whole left-hand side of the pitch was come inside, come inside, come inside, making it so easy for Dundee to defend against. Dundee put 10 men behind the ball, packed the middle of the pitch. It's what we talk about. If, if you keep coming in all the time, all the opposition team have got to do is condense and stop. And that's it. The only way to get around them is to go wide. And we didn't do that because we didn't have the options. We miss Ridvan. We miss any width on the right. It was poor. Cortez going down really hurts. Seema tried. I think Seema probably had, Seema had a decent game again tonight. Wasn't brilliant. Wasn't terrible. Wasn't the worst. Tav was average again. His set-piece delivery was awful. His free kick spot. Was, I mean, even that one that McCracken saved was going wide. Connor Goldson was an absolute fucking joke again tonight. Just absolutely dire. And I think what sums it up best, well, two things that sum it up, was every ball he hit forward was overhit. I either went out for a goal kick or went straight through to the goalkeeper. And at the end of the game, when Connor Goldson goes over to applaud our fans, visibly, numbers of our fans, substantial numbers of our fans, and I'm not just talking about a few here, were pointing at the dressing room and shouting, fuck off Goldson. Tells you everything you need to know. The fans have had enough. The fans have genuinely had enough. I feel for those fans tonight. All those fans that made that journey on a on a on a on a midweek night to Dundee, taking time probably off work, spending large amounts of money to sit and watch that or stand and watch that crap. Watch players who don't give a fuck about this team, that don't care. And you know what? Tav can come out tonight and we can play Tav Bingo. He can be disappointed. He can learn from this. James Tavernier, I don't care what you've got to say anymore because I don't believe you. I genuinely don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth anymore. You're disappointed. No, you're not. You couldn't give a shit because when you get back to Ibrox tonight, you'll get in your Lamborghini and you'll drive off home in your Lamborghini to your nice big house with your nice fat wages and you wouldn't give a shit. The fact we've only won three trophies in 12 years, three trophies in 12 years for a club of this stature, for a club that is one of the biggest in Europe is not acceptable in the slightest. It's just piss poor. It's appalling. I don't know what else to say, guys. It's a bit of a rant, I know. 
We'll look at this a bit more reason tomorrow, but this is just not good enough at all. This is absolutely dreadful. The passing was awful. There was no passion. It was too slow. It was pedestrian. It made it easy for Dundee. We didn't lay a glove on them. We made it easy for them. What else do we need to know? It was shit. And that's the first time since 2019 we've gone three games in a row without a win. Not acceptable. Guys, we need a ruthless summer. We need a really ruthless summer. We'll be clear out the dead wood. Bye-bye, John Lundstrom. Bye-bye, Connor Goldson. Bye-bye, James Tavernier. Bye-bye, Serial Dessers. Get out of my club. Get out of our club. You don't care about us anymore. Clear off. Guys, we are the people, the fans. Remember that always, please. Thank you for watching. Be back to speak to you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>